And so as I was sitting here, I'm having a moment and I, I was coming up with some stuff for my waist bead launch and I was thinking about using the sage that we got because he used to always go and make my runs to LA to get my beads. So anytime if I had to get, anytime if I needed new beads, um, I would just tell him the colors that I was out of. So whenever he would make these runs down to LA or whenever he would have customers in LA or whatever reason he needed to be down there, if it was visiting family, it was like he would come back with beads for me. And so sometimes it was a necessary trip. We would have to go because we needed refills. And a lot of times I would get these surprise bags of beads and he knew that I really liked the sparkly bags like they have a couple different kinds of bags that they give out and so it we kind of noticed it seemed like the more money you spent like the better the bag you got <laughs> so when we would go in and spend a lot of money it's like you know they would put the stuff in these really cute bags but anyways I like those kind they're flashy and so whenever he would go down and he would do just like a big old just like a big old haul. Like just, you know, a lot of times it was really just to surprise me. Sometimes I knew he was going and other times he would come home and be like, and it was like candy, right? It was definitely a good surprise. It was like getting jewelry. <laughs> um, and so we got this big box of sage one time though and he was just down there running his mouth doing what he does. And so he ended up negotiating this deal with one of the store um, owners or workers or whoever it was inside of one of the shops. And and we ended up being able to get, I think it was like a hundred sticks of sage. Anyways, I have this big, huge box of sage sticks and I was trying to see how I can incorporate them into using them so that I can get rid of them, you know? Like, I don't want them to get, I mean, I'm sure I can always use it for other stuff, but I just, I was trying to figure out a way that I can start to use them with uh, my waist beads and, as I'm sitting there, like, I have a moment and I got all extra sad because I'm like, I I wanna get rid of them, but then I'm like, maybe I shouldn't get rid of them. And then it feels like everything has just felt like a getting rid of, like so many parts of the last couple of months have just, I mean, the whole year, last year, have just been like a, like a getting rid of, but when I say that, I, I feel like that hurts because like he existed, you know, like you don't just get rid of. So I feel like if I get rid of all of them, I guess that as a memory won't exist anymore. I don't know. So I'm kind of just talking my way through. You know, one of the things that I learned, especially like and not even so much just, you know, because I I don't know what the dialogue is when you go to a therapist. But as someone who journals and who has journaled my whole life, you know, I ask myself questions. And so having these little conversations with myself, you know, it's good to ask questions because then it really pours it out. And I feel like one thing he would always say sometimes, too, was it if we were scared of something, um, like me or the kids, or if we just had some kind of fear about something. His whole thing was like, what's the worst that's gonna happen, you know? What, what do you, what, what would be the worst thing that would happen that you're thinking that could possibly happen if you do this or that or what have you? And I feel like those questions, you know, questions are what bring forth answers and everything that we have and need is inside of us. Like answers are in there when you ask the right questions. I am a very, very, very firm believer of that. Um, and that's how we get to the root and the core, but by asking questions and sometimes those questions are hard and, and they don't feel good. And so that's kind of this process that I'm in, like as things come up for me, I'm trying to ask myself questions and, and give a real answer to them. And a lot of times, like the answers that we would have for our fears, like they're, they're, they're made up. They're completely made up. Sometimes they're fears that don't even make sense. Um, and, and he would always put a rest to that. Like it was really comforting to go, yeah, you're right. Like, yeah, maybe that sounds kind of extra or, you know, maybe that's not even a possibility or, um, 
so all of that to say i guess in all of this like the getting rid of uh it made me sad because i i don't want to get rid of him um i don't want to feel like i'm just <laughs> shoving it away pushing him off or just you know letting go i guess but um The biggest thing, I guess, just felt like if I get rid of all the sage sticks, um, like that just won't be left as a memory. Like right now I can look at that box and I go, dang, you know, he got those sage sticks for me. Like he touched the box, you know, he gave it to me. And then once that's gone, like that's like another thing that's gone. I just don't want to not remember. I'm afraid I'm not remember like it won't matter anymore <sighs> and that feels sad I'm just feeling like inside like you won't ever not remember unless something actually happens to your memory <laughs> which I hope it's not a thing but I know I won't not remember so <laughs> I'm supposed to be moving stuff off of this wall right here so that I can get some pictures taken for my Instagram and then I have my uh, winter collection for my waist speeds getting ready to drop. I gotta load the site and make it live at 5.55. It's 3.10. Of course it's 3.10. I don't know if I told you guys about 310 and 910 and that's just all story time that for another day but it's 310 <laughs> anyway it's 310 it's Friday I got things to do I have work to do um this is this is what happens sometimes this is how my days feel sometimes they're fine they're normal I'm moving and then one one thing or thought like turns into just <sighs> where I just need a moment so um I'm gonna I'm gonna sit for just a few minutes and uh and then I'm gonna get up and continue with what I had to do today. that somehow that would be getting rid of you. And that made me sad. 